Hello everybody. We are on week two of our new segment, my new segment, 360 Spin Down. And the whole point of what we are doing at the end of each week here is to take in six minutes or less, I'll try to keep, actually keep to that six minutes this time, in six minutes or less, talking about everything that we would discussed um, during the week on our posts. So this week, the focus was on variety just super lame and something that we hear about over and over and over and over again. So it really doesn't have any juiciness to it because it's just this like bombardment of something that loses its meaning. So I want to just take a minute and explain why it is so important. Why do people tell you, eat the rainbow, get good variety, mix it up. And the reason is very simple. Each food, this is not going to be mind blowing, each food offers a very, very unique set of nutrients. Outside of protein, carbs, fats, individually the phytonutrients, the individual things that each plant, each fruit, vegetable, each grain offers is very, very unique. And therefore, if you're eating the same four things, even if they're broccoli, carrots, apples, and bananas, you're only getting the profile of the same four or five or even six things, which is fine, but it's certainly not ideal and it isn't optimal. And for those of you who are listening to this who are already in a state of not feeling well or there's something going on with your gut, whether you know what that thing is or not, it doesn't even matter. You are really in a place where this is super important. You can not eat the same 12 foods over and over again and expect to be in a place of ideal health. It just isn't, there isn't enough variety in nutrients that, that are found in those few number of foods. Okay. So if you look back over the posts from this week, I tried to pick out a few really common places where people tend to do the same thing over and over again, thinking that they're doing something really good. Every day having eggs for breakfast, doing a smoothie, but doing the same exact thing over and over. A salad. You have no idea how many times I hear people say, but I eat a salad for lunch. And I said, that's fantastic. What do you do? And for the whole year, they're eating the same exact thing. It can't be that way. So what we tried to talk about this week is how do you take a framework of what you're already doing? I take a salad to lunch. Take that framework separate out all of the pieces. What's the protein on your salad? What's the base of your salad? What's the dressing? Do you add any toppings? What are the other veggies? Separate out those categories and just make these little swaps. If you always have chicken on your salad, maybe you bring um, turkey on it or shrimp or salmon. If you always have iceberg lettuce, Maybe you do spinach or mixed greens or arugula. If you always do a balsamic dressing, maybe instead you switch it up and you do avocado oil and apple cider vinegar. If you always put walnuts on it, maybe you put almonds on it. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. That's what I'm trying to say. Take what you are already doing that is working for you and your life and your schedule and make these tiny little swaps so that you end up with something that still works for your life but is so much more optimal with absolutely minimal extra effort. That's the whole idea. And you can take that and apply it to Breakfast, for example, if you're somebody who has eggs every morning for breakfast, stop doing that. There's nothing wrong with eggs. There's nothing wrong with eggs. But you're not getting a variety of different amino acid profiles from a variety of different types of proteins. You're not getting maybe a variety of different veggies if you're eating peppers and onions all the time. I'm just making this up. Do you see what I'm saying? Take what you're already doing. Take out the eggs. Maybe you put in turkey sausage or whatever it might be for you. It doesn't matter. Same with the smoothie. You can mix up the type of protein powder. You can mix up the type of greens. You can mix up the type of fruits. You can mix up the add-ins. If you do flax seed, maybe you do chia seed or maybe you do hemp seed. Take the same thing and make those little swaps. And it doesn't have to be every single day. So to keep that in mind too, you don't have to redo something every single day. I eat 
pretty much the same lunch all week. I make what I want to have and I have the same thing every week. But the following week, I do something 100% different. So that when I'm looking back over 12 weeks of lunches, there's tons of color. There's tons of variety in the grains that I choose. Tons of variety in the protein choices. But my day isn't being undone by having to stop what I'm doing and go like cook a steak or something like that. So there is a really good way to optimize what you're already doing, what is already working, but make it better. Do not settle for what you're doing if it's not absolutely serving you in the, in the completely best way. All of these things, these really quick little tips, I share in my weekly newsletter. I send it out on Tuesdays. It's called Triple Tip Tuesday. It is short and quick and easy. It's not a bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. It is meant to be these little bullet points, boom, 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 every single week so that you have fresh new ideas of how you can approach your nutrition and your gut health every week. If you are not already a part of that and you would enjoy getting some of those simple tips each week, let me know. Shoot me your email. I'll get you signed up. It's super easy. Thank you very much. You can learn more about what we do here at Strata Nutrition at stratanutrition.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Enjoy, everybody. Get your variety in. Do not settle.